Oh, sorry guys. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, tomorrow's workout, Saturday the 18th of April. We're gonna have uh, one dumbbell, okay? okay? I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. We did a bit of running. Tomorrow is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a nice one as well, okay? Uh, and again, we're gonna do a new movement, okay? So, um, warm up is gonna be two rounds. Okay, we're gonna do a very, an extensive warm up because we only have a workout tomorrow. And um, it's, it's a lot of skills and it's a long one. All right, so warm up's gonna start with two rounds of 10 walking lunges with a twist. Okay, so only five per leg. All right, then we're gonna go into um, five downward dog, oh, sorry, downward dog, yes. Is this a downward or upward dog? I don't know, All right, so downward dog, okay. Into a pike, stretch the shoulders and then back down. Stretch the shoulders. Okay, we're doing five of that. Then we're going into ten shoulder taps in the pike position. Okay, so when you're in that pike position, I want you guys to do ten shoulder taps. So five per arm, and I want you to put all your weight on one hand. Right, um, shift your weight, everything on one hand. Tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder. Okay. Then we've got ten natural box step ups. So, um, you're going to use a chair or any surface that's about knee height, alright, that's my knee height, lateral box, step up, control your weight down, okay, you need to warm up those legs and glutes, okay, and then we're going to finish off with a 20 second handstand hold against the wall, okay, so you're going to kick up against the wall, 20 second handstand hold, pressing up, okay, so pressing up on the shoulders, active shoulders, or you're going to do it on the box, or you can put your feet on the couch, or again a high surface. In the pike position, you're going to do a 20 second hold, active shoulders pressing up. Alright, two rounds of that. Alright guys, so we're going to get into movement prep for the workout now, and I'm just going to first uh, explain the movements in the workout. So we have handstand walks tomorrow, we haven't done them yet, in lockdown, so we have handstand walks. If you can't do handstand walks, you're gonna do bed walls, okay? Then we have four different dumbbell movements, and we also have box jumps or alternating box step ups, okay? So from here on forth, if I say box jump, and you aren't comfortable jumping onto a platform or a surface or a box or a chair, then you're going to do alternating box step ups. So if it's 30 box jumps, you're doing 30 alternating box step ups, 15 per leg, all right? So the four dumbbell movements is a dumbbell power snatch, a dumbbell hang, key and jerk, a dumbbell thruster, and a dumbbell devil's press. Okay, I'll show the devil's press just now. Um, guys, you only need one dumbbell. Again, if you have a kettlebell, you can use your kettlebell. If you're going to use a kettlebell, you're not going to alternate reps. If you use a dumbbell, you are going to alternate reps. Okay, just because alternating the kettlebell is such an awkward movement and it's much easier with a dumbbell. All right. Oryx weight for the dumbbells, 22 and a half, 15 for ladies, and kettlebell, any kettlebell you have, uh, 24, 20s for guys, or 16, 12s, 10s for ladies, all right. So, um, the first, the round one of, of movement prep, you're gonna, do, you're gonna start practicing your handstand walks or your bear crawls, okay? So set up a five meter um, shuttle for yourself, okay? So in the workout, we've got Two 20 meter handstand walks, and if you're doing a bear walk, you're doubling the distance. So it's a 40 meter uh, bear walk. You can do your, your handstand walks or your bear walks in 5 meter increments or 10 meter increments, okay, depending on how much space you have, but not more than that. So 5 or 10 meters, and then you're going to stop and turn around, okay. So, round uh, the first movement you're going to practice is handstand walks and bear walks, okay, just a couple up and down. Then we're going to six box jumps or alternating step ups. All right, so the box jump on a low height, okay, or your step ups, alternating legs every time. All right, so six of those. Then you are doing eight dumbbell high pulls per arm. Okay, so a high pull is basically just the enough. Okay, it's like a sumo deadlift thigh pull, but it's just with one dumbbell. I'm going to swap arms. I'm going to do eight on the other arm. Okay, 
Once you've done eight on the other arm, you're going to do six dumbbell push presses. Dip and drive. Dip and drive. Okay, six per arm. Okay, going into round two of warm up, you are going to do a one five meter handstand walk or one five meter bear crawl. Then you're going to do six box jumps or six step ups. Then you are doing six dumbbell snatch. Okay. Again, if you're using a dumbbell, you can alternate hands with every rep. If you're using kettlebells, you can split it up between the two. Okay, so your power snatch starts from the floor, up, alternate. You can also alternate on the floor. All right, then we're going for four box jumps and four step ups, then we're going back to the dumbbell. Now we're doing four hand clean and jerks, alternating. Okay, you cut up. Clean and jerk. Alternate. Clean and jerk. Then we're doing the thrusters. Now on the thrusters, you're not going to alternate. You're going to finish the reps on the one arm, finish the reps on the other arm. You can split it up like you want to as long as you do all your reps on both arms. Okay. So clean it up, squat, press. So one, I'm going to ten on one arm. Okay. I'm going to do however I have left on the other arm. All right. Then the last movement is a devil's press with one dumbbell. Okay. So a devil's press is a burpee with one dumbbell on the, uh, one hand on the dumbbell, burpee, and a snatch. All right. Then you're going to alternate hands. Burpee, snatch. Alternate hands again. All right. You, again, you can alternate hands on the floor if you need to. So here's your workout. You're going to start the workout with a buy-in, a 20-meter handstand walk, 5-meter increments or 10-meter increments, or double a bear crawl, so 40-meter bear crawl. Then you're going to do 30 box jumps or step-ups and 30 alternating snatches. After that, you're going to do 24 box jumps and 24 hand clean and jerks alternating all right then you're going to do that's your halfway now you're going to do a 10 meter handstand walk or a 20 meter bear crawl then you're going to go back to the box you're going to do 18 yes 18 box jumps or step ups and 18 dumbbell thrusters okay again on the dumbbell thrusters you don't have to alternate you can finish nine on one arm go to the other arm finish nine then you're going to do 12 box jumps 12 devil's press alternating and then you're going to finish the workout with a buy out of a 20 meter handstand walk or a 40 meter bed Enjoy.